What I think as an AI researcher is so amazing about this is that this is not at all just memorization. A lot of older AI systems were more memorization than creativity, but this is actual creativity happening. At Google, they got very worried. Google's business is still search. Um, ChatGPT might be better than search. I think as we see how AI is evolving over the years, and especially the last half year, it's becoming something everybody can use. It's still more fun, I think, if you really understand it and can build the next thing. But everybody can use what is there today and make money, do other fun things, and so forth. So is there some hype? For sure. Um, but I think it's very different from the hype we've seen around crypto, the hype we've seen around metaverse. In this case, there's something real happening. There are actually tangible artifacts being built that can change our everyday lives today. And the trend is only ramping up and up more and more. If you use the current deep learning paradigm, you're not writing any lines of code. You collect examples. And so the way you program now is by collecting examples. So it's not inconceivable that in the near future, AI will know pretty well we're thinking about even our thoughts would not be completely private, because AI will just be able to read our brain. But with ChatGPT, and in fact, GPT-3 already, but not as many people know about GPT-3 as know about ChatGPT, AI understands jokes now. You can ask it, why is this funny for a joke? It'll tell you, this is why the joke is funny. That was something people considered pretty unique to humans. There should be no more car accidents if the AI is successful. There should be many scientific discoveries that we would take centuries before we get to them as humans. Because just think about it. If an AI is really human level, can't be far away from becoming smartest human level, then you know, imagine having a few hundred, a few thousand, a few tens of thousands of Einsteins thinking about our today's hardest problems. That's going to be a lot of fast progress, new discoveries that we couldn't imagine to come to us for years, for centuries, they'll be here. Many diseases will be solved. Big things like going to Mars. Right now, we probably say the only way we can go to Mars is because Elon Musk is such an inspiring person, has a lot of money to put behind it, drives people very hard, brings out, you know, people work as hard as you possibly can. That's the only way we're ever going to get there in the next 10 years, let alone the next 100 years. Only Elon can do it. AI could probably do it too once it's there. So first one is just human error perpetration. A common one in the US is that the US is a country with a long history of racism. So a lot of the data has racism in it. AI that just replicates what's in the data will be racist almost by default, because you train it on this racist data. Those are real, unfortunate consequences of how the past of the US has been, and you need to address those. But it's true for all kinds of things. It's here just gender biases. We ask an AI, the pilot came home from a long day of work. What's next? The AI will say he, will always say he, will never say she. It's just the way it is, because most pilots are men, and statistically speaking, that's the right answer. But maybe looking at the future of humanity is not the right answer to be producing all the time. Fake news, so easy to generate. It's pretty much free. Jobs, in principle, that shouldn't be an issue. Our jobs become easier. We become more productive. But the tricky thing could be that there's an extreme wealth concentration into just a few companies. An extreme scenario would be OpenAI, Google, Microsoft, generate pretty much 99% of the wealth in the world which our current system is not set up to deal with. So what to do? Right now, I'd say using low stakes applications and combine it with human oversight. Let the AI do most of the work, but then check it and decide whether you like it or not and what you want to revise or not. Use it as a source of inspiration, suggestions. And use it as a co-pilot rather than an autonomous agent. Thank you.